Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Laura from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. In today's Tinkershop tutorial, we are going to create a design for a trivet using Inkscape that can be engraved with a laser cutter. All right, let's get started. Begin by opening up your Inkscape program. The rectangle in the center is our canvas, so anything placed on our canvas will be engraved or cut, and anything outside the canvas will not. The first thing we're going to do is draw a circle for our trivet template. Most trivets are seven and three quarter inches wide or around 200 millimeters. So we can adjust the size using the width and height control at the top. Next, we will import an image. So open up your browser and type in what you would like to search for. I like to keep it simple and search for a black and white or silhouette image. More intricate and colored images don't always transition well into the Inkscape software. Once you've found an image you like, right click and save it. Then go back to your Inkscape program, left click on file and then import. Next, we need to convert the file from a raster image into a vector image. With your image selected, left click on the path option and select trace bitmap from this list, which will bring up another window. In this window, click on update and then OK. Now we have two images. If you zoom in, you can see the difference where one is a bit blurry. That's our original raster image. And then our new vector image, which has cleaner lines. So we can get rid of the original image and place your vector image on your trivet. You can adjust the size with the arrows or at the top with the width and height to make sure it does not become disproportionate. Make sure you hold control when you adjust the arrows if you do happen to make a mistake, you can do Control Z to undo it. Next, we're going to add our text. So select the text button from over here, the large A, and click anywhere in the document and type in your text. To change your font, select the T over on the right hand side and it'll bring up a box here. So you can look through all the fonts and find one that you like. Click apply and it'll change your font. You can also change the size the same way as the image by holding control and adjusting the arrows or by changing it up here. You can also curve your font by having your font selected and the circle. So click on text and put on path. And that'll curve your text. Now you can select your text and move it wherever you like. So center your images by holding shift and selecting multiple images and then select the centering tool. You can also add another image the same way as the teapot. If you go back to your browser. This one looks nice. We're going to right click, save image. Go back to our Inkscape, file, import. Click and open. So again, we want to change it into a vector file. We're going to click on 
path and trace a bitmap. Since this one has color, I'm going to go to Live Preview and increase the threshold to make the lines darker and more visible. So I can get rid of the green one now and adjust the size of the black and white one to fit on my trivet. Next, you can select your outer template circle and make that into a cut line because we don't want that to appear on the trivet. So we're going to go to Object and Fill in Stroke. We're going to make sure that there's no fill. Select Stroke Paint and the Stroke Style. We can change to Inches and 0 0.01 to make that into a cut line. You can see it's gone a bit more faint and now that won't engrave on my trivet. Now if you are all done, you want to save your work. And once it's ready for engraving, you want to save it as a PDF. And now your trivet is ready to be engraved. We would love to see your completed projects at one of our virtual maker meetups or by tagging us on social media. I'm Laura from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library and thanks again for joining us. Take care.